everyone, I would love for you to meet the newest member of the Nomadic Fanatic team. This is Opie. <laughs> Don't act like you're surprised, everyone. We all knew this day would come eventually. Just didn't know how it was gonna work. And then, obviously, I have some very, very exciting news. Some of the biggest news in, in 11 years of my life on, on the road here on this channel. Here in this video today, you're gonna meet the newest member of our traveling team. And I'm gonna show you exactly how it happened. It's been difficult keeping this a secret over the past week and not letting Opie get in the shot too early, but I have a bunch of video to share with you how Opie came into our lives this past week and how he is adjusting how Tara is doing with a new baby brother. This is really exciting for me, so thanks for joining me, guys. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad Internet. Link below in the video description below. I don't want to try to pretend like I, I am replacing my beloved cat, Jax, who passed away recently, about a month ago today, actually. But um, I do, I had felt a little guilty that, you know, bringing Tara in and having her only for six months and then with Jack's passing, you know, Tara is left without a brother. Um, so I knew, I knew eventually that I was probably going to get a playmate for Tara. And uh, Opie, the name Opie that I picked, also comes from Sons of Anarchy. Jax, Tara, and Opie. They, they are all characters from Sons of Anarchy, the uh, TV show. Uh, anyways, I'm not going to talk this whole video. I, I want to uh, show you what's going on. I'm here at a familiar spot camping. I'm wearing some sunglasses right now because my eye is still messed up. Comes back just about every year. My, my eye right here gets infected and I'm going to go get some more antibiotics. But here's my campsite with Tater Tot and Miranda. Let's go meet Opie. It is a really pretty campsite. There's six more sites down there and uh, I'm the only one here. And look who's already here to greet us, Mr. Opie Dopey. When he's being a dope, he's gonna be Opie Dopey. When he's being cute, he's just Opie. My sweet baby boy, him's precious. He is uh, 12 weeks, 12 weeks old. And he is quite the explorer, Tara. We love you so much, Tara. We love you, don't we? Yes, we do. She's the queen. She's always gonna be my queen. Yep. So, now like I said, I've actually been keeping this a secret, or at least trying to. I think you've actually seen Opie in a couple shots. I've, I've definitely been doing a lot behind the scenes to integrate Opie into this life. Uh, however, I have a bunch of video because I still chronicalized everything that's going on, and I'm going to get you caught up on a week's worth of, of Opie entering our lives right now. So, you all by now know the story of how Tara came into my life to, to be a little sister to Jax. She's a rescue kid. Kitty. Um, I don't know what happened the first year of her lives. I got her when she was 11 months. Uh, however, she's a little timid. She's very independent. She doesn't like to be pet or held really that much, although she is starting to change. She's starting to uh, maybe be a little more comfortable in, in the RV. Um, but I didn't, I didn't know what happened in her previous life. Opie is just kitten. Opie, I actually went to a humane society uh, back over by the shop. I'm in Kansas City right right now and um, went to see all the little kittens and I said I want to take this kitten into the cat acquaintance room over there and that's what I did. Here's the first video of him crawling all over me. He was he was purring, he was kneading, he just wanted to be right up on me the entire time. From the time I entered the Humane Society to the time I walked out with Opie in my hands was about 50 minutes total, paperwork and everything. I didn't ask Tara first. I didn't bring Tara to see how they would introduce. I just brought Opie home and here's what happens. I put Opie down on the floor here in the RV. He walked right up to Tara with confidence. Tara didn't growl, didn't hiss. And uh, from that day forward, 
things just kept getting better. A lot like Jax, uh, Opie really loves his food. We are still transitioning from his kitten food to the food that he's going to be eating here. We have about four or five days left of transitioning. Uh, here's the two of them eating as far away as possible, but they don't growl at each other. Um, Opie just eats his food. He doesn't try to steal Tara's food. Uh, Tara's okay with everything. Look at that face. Look at that sweet, adorable face, Opie. And uh, here they are uh, as close as they normally are with their water bowls separating them only. Look, do you hear the motor? Do, do you hear this motor? Every morning now, he just cannot leave my side. Unbelievable. At night, he does like to sleep between my legs there, although Tara will sometimes take over and just kind of take his spot and push him to the outside. It's kind of the, the premium spot there. Oh wait, rewind. Uh, before we came home, how about the car ride home from the shelter? Here it is. Here is Opie just sitting in my lap, me holding him as we're riding down the road in my smart car, looking out the window. Uh, he's not purring during this trip right now, but he is not scared. He's not hissing. He's not crying. Uh, he's, you know, he's just looking out, very curious of everything. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have another traveling kitty here. And my, I was really happy. Uh, the first stop we made was actually Modified Auto, and here is Opie exploring the lobby of Modified Auto there, just confident as ever. Here's him doing a leap to my desk because that cat cannot leave my side and never wants to let me work on the laptop alone. No matter how many times I put him back down or move him to the bed, he always wants to be somewhere here around this desk area. It's hilarious. Again, Opie is not replacing Jax, and I'm not saying that Opie is better than Tara. Tara is a very independent, different cat. She's going to change. Opie's going to change. So, like, Opie's not going to want to be on my chest like that all the time every single morning. He's, he's, he's going to grow into his own and, and probably change as well. But right now, I'm loving all this attention that I can get, you know? Oh, <laughs> the two of them sitting here on the uh, Mariner's Fleece blanket together. So you can see... He, you know, I think Opie is definitely medium hair. He's not long hair, but he's definitely going to have a lot more fur than Tara. I'm pretty sure. And additionally here, just for reference, how are the two getting along, Eric? Well, real time, it's been a week, but three nights. On, on, on the third night together, I was sitting in my recliner watching TV, and this happened. Uh, it was definitely Opie that initiated it. Of course, kittens want to play, right? Well... Tara seems to be okay with it. She was playing right back. She was chasing him. I don't like that Opie goes up there in the dash, but... Uh, and she's not being too mean when she plays. You know, she's, she's treating Opie like, like a fragile little kitten. Uh, whereas Jax would be really, really uh, kind of a little too mean with Tara when he used to play with her. But Tara seems to understand that it's a baby kitten and she needs to be a little careful. Look at that smile. That is one happy kitten. He is so glad to have a big sister. And I think Tara's happy too. So, okay, so it took three days for their first time to play. How about adding a new intro, Eric, and getting a, a meow from uh, Opie? Unfortunately, from the time I saw Opie the first time at Humane Society to day four, I guess it was, no, it was the morning of day five. Uh, every time Opie tried to meow, he would just make no sound. He'd go, and nothing would come out. Even at the shelter, I thought Opie didn't have a meow. And they didn't, they didn't know for sure because they hadn't had him that long. They, they didn't know if, like, something was wrong in his voice box or something. Or if he needed to grow into a, a mew, a meow of sorts. But, um, like I said, on the morning of day five here inside the RV... Tara always meows when it's, when it's breakfast time. I think Opie just, after five mornings straight, started looking at what Tara was doing and thinking, is this how I get food? Check this out. It is absolutely adorable. Opie's first mew. What? What? Opie talks? I didn't even know you talk. Oh, are you hungry? You know what's in the fridge. Did your did your big sister Tara teach you how to cry? <laughs> I have been patiently waiting to hear you meow. You are just too cute. 
So that's great to know that Opie does actually have a meow. He loves sitting here at the desk, like I said, all the time. They love cuddling on the blanket out by the window. They put up with each other. Um, this is another night when I'm uh, watching TV and he's passed out near my neck. He loves the dash looking straight out at the traffic, my TomTom -tom navigator there. And uh, now you can see the size difference in, in, in the two of them. And there they are, passed out moments later in that same shot. Just stinking cute and adorable. I love these two. Okay, so playtime, first meow. How long before they started to love on each other? Like, actually love on each other? I thought this would take months, guys. I thought, just like Jackson Tara, it would be on the th second or third month that we actually saw uh, Tara reach over and start to groom Jax. Well... As you know, I just left Robert's house here in Kansas City. Yesterday, I was sitting on the recliner, and this happened. Okay, and where playtime was initiated by Opie, this is definitely started by Tara. She's grooming him. She's literally grooming Opie, and it's so precious. Um, I, I think that means that she's accepted him, and obviously Opie feels comfortable to, to allow her to groom him. I have not seen him groom her yet. So that may take some time, but just the fact that he's comfortable in this position. And as far as Tara, I also thought maybe this is some of her motherly instincts coming through. I mean, she is one year old. Opie's three months old. Uh, maybe she just feels that this is her, her baby, her little kitten that she needs to groom. Or maybe it's just a brother-sister love thing and it's going to keep getting better. Either way, it melts my heart. And, oh my, look at that picture. That's a postcard picture there. Precious. Uh, also, we're fighting in the window here. That's later that same day, right after grooming. We're gonna we're gonna play and fight in the windshield. Anyways, that, and then okay, here we are at night. Um, also, grooming a little bit, playing a little bit. I think Opie may have been biting or licking Tara's uh, foot there in, in that particular shot. Uh, but these two are just stinking adorable, and I do need to get Opie his own Mickey ID tag. I'm not going to be going back to Walt Disney World to do that. I do have a friend there who is supposed to be getting me one and shipping it to the shop before Thanksgiving, actually. So, anyways, that's all the video I have for now. I definitely feel like the hard part's over. I have introduced my sweet new baby kitten. He needs to go in and get his rabies shot his last shot. He needs to get neutered. You're not broken, but you are going to get fixed, okay? Look at that golden coat. He is just so handsome. Can't wait for him to grow into this fluffy body, you fuzzy butt. And, and Tara, again, you're my queen. We love you so, so much. I got the brusher. Well, I got the brusher for you, but I also got the brusher for me, okay? That takes some of the cuddle pressure off you, right? All right, girl. Uh, besides the stuff I want to do up in the dash to kind of kitten-proof that area, there's a couple more things I'm going to be talking about before Thanksgiving. As far as making the RV work for, for two cats, um, <laughs> because, you know, litter and, and smell and space and cat-proofing things and stuff like that, there's there's lots more i got to think about and work on. And uh, anyway, I just, I just feel good. It feels good. I feel like I've been keeping this from you for a week. Like, so... <laughs> except for Patreon and, and Instagram a day early. But uh, thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, Tara, Opie, and I will see you in the next video, and hopefully soon we will also have a new intro, uh, thumbnail, banner, and everything that includes Opie as part of the life because he is now permanently a part of our life, and he is going to be one happy cat traveling the country and exploring the world. So... Thanks for joining me, guys. I hope you're looking forward to a very happy, exciting Thanksgiving next week. Um, I know I am as well. I have a lot to be thankful for. Uh, I'm not a bitter person. It, it has been a rough year for me on, on the road, but the, the joy and love that a pet can bring you, oh, I needed this, I needed this. Anyway, I love y'all. I'll see you in the next one, probably on Monday. Bye, guys.